I'm Ashley Johnson, a news reporter from CBS, and I would like to do an interview. Hello, Ashley. All right, let's begin. How does it feel to be the only one in four people that have served in all elected federal offices in the U.S.? Honestly, it feels great. At first, I can only help people if the higher up would approve of my bill. Now being president, I can pretty much pass any bill I would like. I'm trying my best to help every race, every age, and every woman. And how did Kennedy's tragedy affect you? It took me personally. Honestly, he was a big brother idol, but he was my boss. I also felt like I had big shoes to fill and a lot of responsibility. And how do you plan on making this country a great society? Well, actually, I plan to aid, aid education as much as possible, give federal help to the elderly like Medicare and Medicaid, fight famine and disease, and fight poverty, and much more. And why do you feel the need to be sworn into office when lawfully you become president in case of a, of a tragedy and happen to JFK? Well, I knew I was president and had a lot on my plate. I just wanted the American people to know that I was feeling as sorrow as they were. And why did you feel the need to increase the number of troops in Vietnam? I felt the escalation would help end the war in Nam, or the politically correct term, Vietnam. Although we didn't, we never lost the battle. Did you find the casualties of the, in Vietnam ruined your chances at your election? Huh? Do you think, are you asking before or after the war? Just kidding. <laughs> Honestly, yes, because not, it did because I didn't run for campaign next year and it, my popularity vote just dropped dramatically from there. How did it feel to be appointed the Texas National Youth Administration? It felt great because I get it, I got to make education and job job opportunities for young people. Why did Roosevelt appoint you to be the or to be Naval Affairs Committee? I think he did because he saw the work I did. Ultimately, I ran against the sitting governor of Texas to the United States Senate. Although I lost, I kept that. Why did you want to pass a bill that would crack down on draft expenses of shipyard workers if they were absent to work often? I felt we had spies and communist workers in our shipyards. Although the bill didn't pass, I it got a lot of attention. How did your days at it affect your campaign? Well, the the campaign was basically cold water. It was a vote for doom, I guess, and trying to kill yourself, and a vote for me would promote peace. Ultimately, I won by a dramatic vote. And we all know you have a very strong handshake. Why is that? Well. I would love to discuss that information with you, but it's classified. It just means I know a lot. You were really big on civil rights, huh? Yes, I passed many bills, such as the Voting Acts of 65, which made it illegal to have illiteracy and a poll tax on voters. Another big act was the Civil Rights of 64. It made it illegal to discriminate. And what do you think about the KKK? I think they are a bunch of hooligans who need to be punished by the federal level. What do you think the cure of ignorance and poverty is? That's a tremendous question, Ashley. The answer is education, education, education. Why did you pass ESA? Well, ESEA is the Elementary and Secondary and Secondary Education Act, and I believe that even the poor children should get a great education. So I hear you've signed a public broadcasting act. Why is that? Well, I wanted TV not only to be filled with dumb shows that rot your brain, I wanted it to be educational, hence I passed this act. Why did you enforce the Gun Control Act of 68? I enforced it mainly because of the assassination of John F. Kennedy, but uh, although, it didn't, although it was far-fetched, I wanted safety for America. And why did your popularity seem to disappear? It was entirely not my fault, but the assassination of Martin Luther King spiked riots that lasted for days. I sent troops to stop the rioting, and many were injured, and some were killed. I lost popularity. Last question, LBJ. The Tonkin resolution, did it really have to go down that way? Well, I felt the domino theory would play into effect, so I had to stop it by all means necessary. Awesome. Well, it was great Thank talking you. to you. It was nice to meet you. We are now <laughs> recording. Hello, Lyndon B. I'm Ashley Johnson, a news reporter from CBS, and I would like to do an interview. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> I don't like it. Right. <laughs> okay, for real.
go. Like, I gotta stop. <laughs> I was doing great until the first laugh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Stop. <laughs> Tonkin. 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 Last question, LBJ. 